dreaming of buying your own greenhouse? If you want a greenhouse, the thing you have to decide first is what am I going to do in my greenhouse? Mm. I chose to grow food. And I want to grow food in the ground so that the plants can get the most moisture and the most consistent environment. I can make the best soil and get the best food. Because I'm growing in the ground, I wanted to make sure I had as much headroom as possible. So when I ordered my new BC greenhouse, I put it on a foundation. It's about a 14 inch foundation. It's quite high actually off the ground. And when you order it ahead of time that way, they will actually adjust the door so that you're still walking in on grade, but your beds are raised. I love that. I also love having the raised beds because it allows me to grow as if I'm outside but almost all year round. So I've always got something on the go, something being seeded or harvested at any one time. But what if you want to grow orchids or geraniums or dahlias? Then you're probably not going to want to grow in the ground. You're going to want a bench system where you can set up pots that are just simply growing all the plants that you want. So before you do order a greenhouse or before you decide what would work best for you, make sure to think about what you will grow in your greenhouse. So it's late summer, no arguing, things are getting so big and overgrown, especially I'm surprised about this Kaha box, which is a self-watering box. I've been putting plants in, I guess they've been in for about three months now, and they are huge. They've been really attractive to hummingbirds so far, they've been beautiful in the garden, but let's face it, summer is coming to an end and I need to cut them back if I'm going to make them last just a little bit longer into fall. When I cut them back, I'm able to take out the older flowers that are no longer blooming and no longer attracting hummingbirds. So I can get rid of those first. And then the branches that are broken. I've had some big, heavy doves landing on my planter, breaking off branches. So I can take those out and just generally shorten it up and clean it up a bit. The majority of the flowers in this box came from Proven Winners. They sent me a fantastic selection. And in here, you're gonna see the Angelina, you're gonna see the Rock and Fuchsia, which have been really attractive. These salvias have been great for the hummingbirds. You're gonna see the Supertunias. Love these pink Supertunias, just tremendous. This is the Vista Paradise. The Lemon Coral is more of a succulent plant. And finally, I love this uh, Superbell's Doublet. It's called Love Swept. What a sweet little plant with the double flowers on what's sometimes just known as, well, it's a mini petunia or calabroca. Mm -hmm.